Hey everybody, it's John back again, and today I'm going to look up the second figure I picked up from the Ultimate Masters Universe Classics figures, which is Tila, one that I've uh, been wanting for a long time. And again, thank you Super7 for allowing us to go back and get some of these figures that some of us missed out on because we are a little late to the toy line. That's the shipper box. And here we have Tila. Again, trying out a new setup here, still playing with the lighting a little bit, but um, as you can see, she's on that same style card now with the um, bubble in the front that mimics the old style of the um, Master Universe toy line from the 80s. Um, they originally were going to have resealable bubbles, but they talked about how they couldn't pass the drop test and they didn't want to hold these any longer, so they sent them out as they are, just sealed them and let them go. And she does come with three heads. Um, all their eyes look really nice, which was something at the end of the Meta Collector era we were starting to have problems with. So I don't know what the difference is with the company they're using, but they look really good. So I hope they can keep it up. You've got two blondes, um, the red-headed Tila, and then the one to wear the goddess outfit, which you can see is a little warped because of the plastic band there. Um, other than that, she looks fantastic. This is one of the figures that I was really sad that I missed out on. She has her spear, her sword, her scepter, and her shield. The mock mini comic behind her. And of course, it shows you can change the heads. There's a little bit of artwork up front, up top of there. Tila uses her warrior skills to defend against her foes every move. Nice little piece of artwork and I'm um, really looking forward to these guys right here and the ones that they showed off of the sorceress looked um, fantastic from San Diego Comic-Con um, I can't wait for them to come out but first we gotta get these guys and these four are very cool looking but I think I'm really excited for the Triclops the Tila that filmation Hordak looks awesome so anyway enough rambling and let me get this thing opened up and we'll take a closer look Okay, here we have uh, Tila outside of her packaging, and right off the bat, again, she is a very nice figure. She has those same um, strange little feet that the original had. Um, the designs on her outfit are really well done. Everything's really well painted. does have a little blemish on the back of her leg right there. And I don't remember, no, if... It's supposed to be asymmetrical. The back of her outfit looks like it should be covering her up a little bit more because I can see into her leg joint. Right there. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be that way. Hmm. Well, I guess we don't see that side of her very often. That's a little weird. I don't know if you guys who have the original one, is that how it was? Where the back of her bottom, the bottom part of her outfit is off to the side so much and you can see into her leg? That's a little weird. But other than that, um, she looks pretty much the same. And I'm going to take the goddess headpiece off here so we can get a better look at her. That's one of her little accessories. And let's see if we can get a better lighting. Here we go. There's a look at her face. A very nice eyes. Well painted, well sculpted face. So everything there is cool. <clears throat> um, nice color changes and shading on her outfit. The little details in her wrist guards are very nice. And she has her legs and her boots. And then, of course, she comes with a number of accessories. She comes with her sword here, which also is nicely detailed. In the same color scheme. A 
shield, which is nicely detailed. A spear. And a scepter, which has this nice gold metallic paint on it to go with her goddess motif, if that's the way you want her. And she has a red-haired version of her head. Again, the eyes are nicely done. And gold paint in her TR piece. Or you can make her a blonde, like in some of the mini comics. Which is very nice of them to include this extra head. And it comes with the the Battleground Tila head, which had the long blonde hair, which you can use to make her look more like the Alcala style. And I'm probably going to keep, oh, sorry about that, the red head on. So let's see if I can pop this off easily. Not too bad, just has its peg. Now I, I remember on the Shira figure, that changing the head out was a bit of a pain because that smaller peg. Oh. Alright. Looks like we're on there. A little bit of gap in the back of her head. Let me put a little bit more pressure on. <clears throat> I think that's as good as it's going to get. Yep, I definitely like that head better. And really the only thing I can compare it to, since I don't have the original, is the Evil Lynn, which has the same sculpting of all the pieces. Except for she was blue, and she's blue-yellow. Well, I guess we can take a look if see if Eva Lynn's outfit does that same thing or not. Well, I guess it's almost, but not quite. It's more in the center, so that's a little off. I don't really think there's too much of a fix for that. So let's check out her articulation and joints to see if they match. She does have a little bit of weird plastic bulging here. Her elbow likes to go backwards a little bit. It's a little weird, but she's seen her head pops off and is in a ball joint. Moves up and down and around. Does have well done. Shoulders are nicely in there. No upper arm rotations. Does have a bend at her elbow. Swivel at her wrists. There may be a joint in here, but it's covered up by her, <clears throat> her outfit. She does have a wide range on her hips there. Um, they go forward about here because of the plastic. And they go pretty far back though, especially since it's a little off angle. It does have that upper thigh rotation. Single joints at her knees. She does have a boot cut swivel there, and nice ankle joints that do have that rocker, but it's really tight on them. I'm not going to really worry about that. So I'm going to give her her sword, put it in her right hand. Again, very, wow. Her hands are extremely tight. It almost looks like they was only meant to hold her staff. Maybe we can use that to loosen her hand up a little bit. I'd really like her to hold her sword. So let's see if we can get this in here. There it goes. Well, again, it's a better grip. Better than uh, gummy hands. Stand back up 
And probably in this hand, I'll probably put her shield. And we'll probably keep her displayed as such. Yeah, she looks pretty good, other than the weird little back piece. She matches up with Evelyn pretty well. And they gave us a whole lot of extras on the these ultimates. I uh, can't wait to see what else that they bring. And hopefully they will be able to continue this line going. And maybe we'll even get a few other figures down the line in the ultimates that uh, some of us missed out on. Anyway, um, thanks for watching. And um, leave some comments, like, subscribe. Um, let me know if this new light box thing's working or not. Um, it looks, it looks a little dark. I do have a, like four or five lights going on this thing and still camera picks up a little bit darker than I'm used to. Um, but anyway, thanks for watching guys. I'll see you later. I just want to say thank you one more time for checking out this video. And if you're interested in seeing any more, you can click uh, either one of the links that will be over here. And if you'd like to subscribe to my channel, there will be a button down below where you can do that as well. And again, thank you.